It's the video everyone is talking about. A man dragged off a United Airlines flight because it was overbooked. And tonight, the company's CEO apologizing on Twitter. But tonight, we want to know, what are your rights when flying? And is that reservation really holding you a seat? Our Cole Miller joins us live now from PDX with those answers and the struggle that was caught on camera. Well, Jennifer, Jeff, good evening. Yeah, that was quite the thing. Everyone talking about that video. As to, to answer one of those questions, no, your reservation does not guarantee you a seat. As for what happened, I had the chance to talk with a retired airline captain who tells me things could have and should have been handled much differently. It's the screaming struggles seen round the world. As the story goes, this doctor is dragged off a United flight Sunday, set to leave from Chicago O'Hare. Oh my God, look at what you did to him. But this flight is overbooked. Four people have been asked to leave to make room for a United crew, some taking travel vouchers, but that doctor refusing to leave. Guys, my God, what are you doing? He wasn't budging. He was committed to staying on the plane. Tyler Bridges was on that plane. Everyone's disturbed by what, what they saw. It uh, has two 270 horse power engines on it. This one has uh, electronic instruments in it. So what does a retired pilot think about that video? Well, in this particular case, the way they did it uh, really leaves a lot to be desired. I caught up with Tom Young at his hangar near Battleground. You know, technically, uh, they don't owe you a seat under their terms of carriage. Uh, they're not obligated to put you on that flight. They're obligated to compensate you for having not been on that flight. Like this doctor, go home. I have to go home. you can try making a plea, but you know, you can only do so much. Young says in this case, like others, airlines have been too quick to call the cops. The people they call in, they, they don't know what the story is. All they're going to do is use enough force and maybe a little extra to, you know, Meet their, meet their needs. It goes without saying, flying isn't always fun, but you're at the mercy of the airline. When it all works, it's wonderful, but when it doesn't, it's, uh, it's frustrating. United tonight says it is conducting its own review of what happened on that plane. Now, a passenger can face federal charges for interfering with the flight crew, but Young, the pilot we spoke with there, he doesn't think that's going to happen with what we saw there. Live tonight at PDX, Cole Miller, Coin Six News. This story isn't over yet. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out, Cole. Thank